For this three cheese tortellini pasta, firstly sieve two cups of flour and a quarter teaspoon of salt into a bowl. Then create a well in the middle and break three eggs into the well. Using a whisk or a fork, beat the eggs till they are combined and then use your hands to combine the flour and the eggs. It's okay if you don't use a pull the flour. Just use what's left to dust your surface and then knead the dough until it's firm. Make sure it doesn't have any air bubbles in it by cutting it in half. If it has no air bubbles, you can leave it to rest for at least 30 minutes in a bowl covered with plastic wrap. For the stuffing, blend 200 grams of mozzarella mascarpone and ricotta and a teaspoon of black pepper. Once blended, place this to the side and bring back your dough. Cut the dough into quarters and place the quarters you're not using into a bowl covered with a cloth, just so it doesn't dry out. Then roll out the dough. This is probably the hardest part of the whole process, so if you have a pasta maker, you can use this instead. Using a three inch cutter, cut circles into the dough and repeat with all the remaining dough and the scraps. To create the tortellini, place half a teaspoon of the stuffing in the center of the pasta and coat the edges of water and then fold it in half and press tightly to seal. Place a bit of water on the corners and then draw the corners around your little finger to create the shape. Press this tightly and then set aside and cover the bowl, which I didn't. Add some olive oil to water in a pot and then cook for 10 minutes. In a separate pan, add some olive oil, then some chopped tomatoes. Mine weren't chopped, so I had to bit them Then add double cream and mix till it's light pink in colour. Then add garlic, black pepper, all purpose and parsley and mix to combine. Then simmer for a further 10 minutes. Then add some cheese as much as you want. I added mozzarella. Then combine with the pasta and serve.